Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good okay. evening. Hello. How are you guys? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Very nice. Excellent. Very good. And you guys, how are you? How do you feel today? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? So far, so good. How was your day? Um, like the other days, but now <laughs> mm, more um, busy than others. Oh, really? Oh, my yes. gosh. Well. Uh, daily, I had to send some reports, but today I had to send it twice. And because I have I have to send it to other people, I don't know why, but I did my job twice. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so stressful. <laughs> yes. Oh my uh, God, you're hearing ready. That's the attitude. Thanks for the effort. Excellent. All right, and you guys, the rest of you, how do you feel tonight? I can see a lot of people with the word listener. Oh my gosh. I expect that that's a mistake and not true. <laughs> but anyway, so I can see Osman. Hello, Osman. How are you? Hi, hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was I'm your fine. day? Uh, you say it was easy. I, I, I had a lot of go meeting oh, activity, really? activities uh activities do it uh, do it did do it did yes activity okay. did uh, but else but everything fine fine good. this okay. day I, I i don't i don't feel stressful this that's day good. i feel that's feel this this day i feel fine right relax Relax. Yes. That's good. <laughs> I mean, Thanks yeah. For us. That's good. That's good. And remember, guys, it's almost Friday. Okay. So yes. let's re <laughs> let's just start to relax. All right. It's yes, almost Friday. Yes. And the weather is pretty nice, isn't it? Yes, teacher. This day the weather was very nice. Cool. Very nice. So that is something positive too. It's almost Friday. Hello. And the weather is nice. I love this weather. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, me too, yes. definitely. Yes. So I can see Cifrido too. Hello, Cifrido. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, pretty fine. How was your it was day? A busy day, but I think everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it looks like day. tomorrow will be a really busy day. So. Oh, really. I'm trying my to gosh. mentally prepare myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. And I can see Kevin too. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello. Um, um I'm fine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes. And how tired was your day? Uh, a little bit tired. <laughs> yeah. I a imagine. little bit stressful. Yeah, as almost everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, thank you so much for being in the class. Thank you so much for being on time. And thank you for the effort, right? I know that it's not easy. And I know that you might be tired, but here you are. So thank you so much. Let's start learning. Let's start practicing. And, well, thank you so much for the ones who have the camera on. Um, I usually interview the ones that I can see, all right? I, I would like to ask to all of you how was your day, but I cannot see you, so but so don't take it personal. If I don't ask you, it's because I didn't see you, all right? Now, do you remember what was the topic that we practiced yesterday? Mm-hmm. 
tips. Tips about what? Um, smart, um, smart shopping. Ah, very good. Yes. Yeah. So we were talking about some tips when you want to make or some smart purchasing, specifically in the area of online shopping. So we are going to continue today. Um, I decided to modify a little bit the topic for today, um, considering that some of you don't feel identified with the shopping online, because I mean, not all of you buy online. So that's why I modified a little bit of topic in order that everybody can participate. Okay, so uh, let me share the presentation. Can everybody see it? Yes? yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is August 24th, and this is the topic, refund and exchanges, okay? And we are going to be talking about refund and exchanges, not only when you buy online, but in general, okay? When you go to the store, when you buy online, everything, okay? And this is not only, guys, when you buy a product. It can be when you pay for a service. Now, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Only one, at, please. <laughs> Go at ahead. The end, at the end of the class, participants will be able, able to learn and practice vocabulary for returning purchases and describe what's wrong with a product. Thank you. So that is basically what we are going to be talking about. Have you ever heard everybody the word refund? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. So now you are a little bit familiar with that. Okay. Let's start. And as always, I wanted to start speaking. Okay. So... Have you ever guys returned a product to a store? No. Never? No, okay. because it, it doesn't arrive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the rest of you guys, have you ever returned a product to a store? And look, yes. I'm, I'm talking about the, the brick and mortar, no, not only online. So, I did it the, the last month. Oh, really? And why? What happened? Uh, I bought, um, I don't know, projector, mm -hmm. and I use it, I use it uh, maybe one month, and then appear some, uh, uh, a part, black part in the middle of the image, oh my so God. then the, the, the mark, uh, going bigger and bigger, so then you you can't see anything in the in the projection. Wow! So I I go to the to the store and change it. Oh, they change it for another one. Yes, yes. Mm, sounds good. And now I have a month to use it. Um, and uh, the problem doesn't appear again. Sounds so I good. hope <laughs> they keep it like that. Yeah, I hope that it continue working. <laughs> I Very hope so. good. That's a good example. Excellent. How about you, everyone? Have you ever returned a product to a store? Yes? No? Sure. Uh, okay. no in a, an opportunity and uh, change the cell phone because the uh, and the charger battery is a uh, very hot it's uh, the perfect uh, fabric in the oh. story the uh, change the product for for other product sounds good sounds good so imagine sometimes the the product right has some imperfections so that's a good idea that they can uh, change for another product. Anyone else, guys? 
Have you ever returned a product? Yes. Anyone else? No, never. Never? <laughs> All right. So the next question. What do you think, guys? Is it easy to return a product to a store in our country? For example, if the product doesn't work properly, do you think that it's easy to return it and in the store they are going to help you, they will give you the, the money back or they will exchange it? Is it easy or not? What do you think? It's difficult, I think. The only um, the store, uh, the, the brick and mortar store that uh, offers uh, refund or to change the product if it's faulty and by my experience is Siman. I that the only thing that um, I bought that was faulty was a pair of earphone earphones mm -hmm. and it they didn't sound well so I go to the store of Siman and just tell them that the earphones doesn't work and in a and I think like in 10 minutes, I they give my money back. So they didn't give, they didn't exchange the product. They give you the full amount. It was, uh, was the last one. Ah, sounds good. Sounds good. So in your case, guys, what do you think? Is that easy? Or do you think that it's a very difficult process? I think it depends if uh, of the store and the product because if it is like a electronic thing that is not working or simply it simply uh, sorry um doesn't turn on or something like that mm -hmm. they usually give, give, uh, it is usually to be easy but if it is something else that is expensive they used to make a lot of questions and also um, ask you for proofs or, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And if you want to return the product, there is something important that you need to show. What is the receipt? The receipt. Yes, definitely. If you don't show the, the ticket, right, the receipt, impossible. They are going to say, no, nah, I'm sorry, <laughs> right? So imagine, so as your classmate said, right? In some cases, it can be easy, but in some others, hmm, it can be impossible, right? So what are some reasons, guys, to return a product? The product is faulty. The product is faulty, definitely. What else? Uh huh. Imagine that you bought a um, product, it's very expensive, and then you change your mind and you say, no, it's too expensive. I'm going to, to return um, it. Do you think that that's a good reason to return a product? In this country, no. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine you change your mind and you say, no, you know what? No, I'm going to return it. What do you think? Do you think that the store will accept it? No, it's difficult. <laughs> I think it would be like, for example, shoes. When you want to buy a shoe and the size is not for the correct, you want to return it to get another one with the correct size. So I think that it would be a good reason. Yeah, exactly. A wrong size. And you exchange the product. And actually, that is something very useful, especially when you go to the store and you said that the gift it is a gift, right? And they yeah. give you the option, right? You have like one week to exchange it, right? Just uh, bring the, the bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. That's another reason to return a product. What else? Can you think in another reason, guys, to return a product? It's not what you expect. For example? 
Yeah, some some products has a guarantee that says that if you don't like it, you can return it. But I don't know if in this country they um they follow that that guarantee or they accept that guarantee. Well, I imagine that depend of the stores, right? Maybe some stores do it, but maybe some others don't, right? How about guys? Um, imagine that I buy a cell phone. The cell phone works perfectly, but when I open the box, I could see that my cell phone has um some scratch. Do you know what a scratch is? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So do you think that that's a good reason to return a product? Yes, it's a really yes. good reason Definitely. because it shows signs that it was previously owned. I, I, I will think that that exactly. someone else used, used it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Or that maybe they weren't careful, right? At the moment to transport yes, the product. Very good. So... Basically, guys, that is what we are going to be talking about. Again, in this moment, guys, don't think only about online shopping. If you see all the examples that we have been giving is not on an online shop. We are talking about when we decide to go to the store, okay? We are going to try to give that um, emphasis in order that everybody can feel identified. So not excuses for not participating tonight, okay? Everybody can participate. Now, we are going to see some vocabulary. Everybody pay a lot of attention. I have here some reasons to return a product. For example, in some of this vocabulary, we already practice it. For example, incorrect size. I have here different sentences. I want you to match these reasons with the correct sentence. For example, I'm disappointed. I thought the game would be much better. Hmm, this statement, what do you think? Is related with the incorrect size? What do you think? No, teacher. No. Maybe no. broke Maybe the five. expectation. Okay. Uh, so your classmate says that is the number five. Product didn't meet expectation. Yes? Yes. Everybody, do you agree or do you have another idea? Yes, I agree. I agree. Okay. Now, letter B. I need a volunteer for reading the statement, please, in the letter B. I can. Yes. I only used the hair dryer for five minutes. It stopped for a bit, then it returned itself back on. Hmm. So what what is the correct reason of this Not statement? Not working properly. Not working properly. No number two, not working properly. Everybody, do you agree? I agree. Yes. Yes. So do you think, guys, that not working properly is a good reason to return a product? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Actually, I think that that is like one of the most important, right? Now, number, well, letter C. I need another volunteer, please, for reading the letter C. Yes. Okay, Osman first, please. Thank you. Okay. I opened the box and counted all pieces. One was missing. Hmm. What is that? Missing guys? part. Number, Number three. three. Missing part. Missing part. Missing part. Is that a good reason to return a product? Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever, guys, bought a product and when you open the package, you could see that there were some sure. missing parts? Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, if, if you go to buy a, a store, uh, usually the the seller mm -hmm. uh, uh, check the product before in front of you, you, right? In front of me, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for this reason, I I think it's difficult. Uh, I want to uh, yeah, regresar, I don't know. Return? Return. It's difficult to return. I don't know. 
That's a good point. If you see, guys, again, when we go to the brick and mortar store, it is very difficult that something like this happened because as your classmate mentioned, right, the uh, seller opened the package and they show you, right, all the pieces and they say, okay, look, everything in order. Then they put the product in the package again and they give it to you. It's very difficult to happen, but guys, sometimes it happens, right? Now, it's very common when we buy online. Have you ever, guys, suffered this situation? Missing parts? Anyone? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. what um, I bought um, a wardrobe and I have to, I had to assemble. Okay. But when I uh, looking for the screws, uh, it doesn't enough to for for our, to complete it. To complete it exactly. Oh my <laughs> gosh! You. And what do you do? And um, I have to. Uh, I had to go to the to the. I don't know how to say this. When you but where is the place when you go to buy and uh, screws? and something like construction. Oh, so the hardware store? Hardware store, exactly. So you had to buy by yes, yourself? Yes, I, I had to buy it. Oh my gosh, imagine you had to pay the extra money. <laughs> yes, yeah. but just two cents for each screw. So. <laughs> yeah, but just imagine, guys, that you live in a place where there is not a, any hardware stores. So you wouldn't be ah, able yes. to, to fix it, right? Yeah, so you see, guys, it's a typical problem. And don't think about only products. How about with food? Have you ever ordered food and suddenly something that it's supposed to go in your order is not there? Yes. Have you ever suffered that? Yes. <laughs> what happened? Tell us. Um, They, they told me that uh, they will send me the uh, fried, uh, fried, fried what? <laughs> fried, <laughs> fried, uh, fried chicken? Fried, no, no. French fries? But, yes, French fries. Uh, they don't, they told me that they will send it uh, in a minute, in a few minutes, and it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> they lied to you, my gosh. Yes, they lied to me. And it, is, it was not only one time, it was two times on the same um, uh, restaurant. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you see, guys, missing part. It's a very typical problem, right? Now, letter D. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the letter D. Me. <laughs> yes, go ahead. I ordered oh, the newest the model with this, one. definitely the old one. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Uh, product, product doesn't match the description. Product doesn't match the description. Do you agree, everyone? Mm, I think it's the number four. Number four? Mm, okay. Mm, I agree with the number six, teacher. Mm, okay. So uh, let's leave it as it is, and then you decide if you change your mind or not. No worries. Okay, number, well, letter E, volunteer for reading the letter E, please. Uh-huh. I ordered. Okay, Sorry. Lorena, go ahead. Okay, I ordered these jeans in my size, but they were too tight for me. So what is that, everyone? Number one. Number one. one. Number one. Definitely incorrect size. So, have you ever suffered this inconvenience? Mm -mm, no. Yes. No? Yes. And what do you do? Did you return the product or not? Do you keep it? Everyone? Mm hmm. Or not? You didn't suffer this issue before? 
Yes, and I start a diet. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen. And you know what, guys? This is actually very common. What do you think? It's common when we buy it online and when we go to the store personally. In which yeah. scenario is more common? Uh, online, but sometimes happen on uh, brick and mortgage. If you don't have the time to try it before buying but... Before <laughs> and you just see it right and calculate yeah, that ah, yeah. <laughs> but no I pay and go. <laughs> yeah and then when you get home the reality is different <laughs> all right uh, the last one please volunteer for reading um some extracts extras that were mentioned were included in the package Mm. So mm -hmm. we have two options here, all right? Because in the previous one, you said that it could be uh, six and four. Number, teacher is a number four. In which one? In the letter F? Yes. Mm. I think it's number six. Number six. Number six. No, okay. number six. Yes. <laughs> so let's analyze the sentence. Some extras that were mentioned weren't included. Okay, so this is, imagine that you buy a cell phone. When you open the box, you can see that the cell phone is exactly the ones, I mean, exactly the product that you wanted. However, in the description, it says that it's going to include the charger, it's going to include uh, some headsets, earphones. right, uh, earphones. Um, and besides that, is going to include um, what else? What else can include? A cover. A cover. A cover. Yeah, yeah. Imagine. But when you open the box, you can see only the charger. <laughs> so what happens here is a wrong product, or is the correct product, but with the description that they, they they don't have all what they promised. What yes, is, number six. Number six. It's perfect product, but it's not perfect in the description. Exactly. So in this case, it's the number six. In the letter D, look at this one. I ordered the newest model. Okay. Just imagine I had the iPhone. What is the, the newest? Uh, 20. 20. The 20. <laughs> imagine. So imagine that you bought the iPhone 20, but when you open it, it's not the iPhone 20. It's, it's the an iPhone, iPhone 6. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine the 19, for example. So yeah. is that the wrong product or the product doesn't match the description? Number four. Definitely, right? In this case, totally is the wrong product. Okay. So... If you see, guys, here we have different reasons to return a product. Incorrect size, not working properly, missing parts, wrong product, product didn't meet expectations, and the product doesn't match the descriptions. Okay? Copy the vocabulary because we are going to use it. Copy the vocabulary, please. Six reasons to return a product. In this case, we can consider more reasons, right? Depending on what is the product that we are talking about. Or if, of course, we are talking about a service. Copy the vocabulary. We are going to use it. Let me know when you finish. Copy, copy the vocabulary. I prefer, guys, that you write it instead of only take the screenshot because then I think that you never had the time to check the screenshots again. So it's better if you write it. I can give you the time.
You ready? Did you copy or no yet? No yet. Yes. Okay. Copy, copy. Just let me know when you finish. It's done. Done? Excellent. What do you think, guys? Which of these ones is the worst? Which of these ones is like the worst reason, the most important for you to return a product? Not working properly. Not working properly? Right. Definitely. Yeah, that's a very good one. Just imagine, guys, if you buy something that is not working, you cannot keep it, right? Maybe uh, are between number two or four because is if is an incorrect product, uh, is not good idea to how. keep it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's true. So that's right. That's right. Imagine not working properly and run product. Yeah, I agree. Those ones, I think that are they are the worst. Right. Done. Done? Yes. Everybody, did you copy? Yes. Finish? Yes. All right. So I'm going to check attendance, guys, before continue. So please, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's start with Amanda Zamora. Presente. Okay, very good. Ana Lorena Lovato. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Oh, I think he's, he's sick. That's true. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. All right. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. All right. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres. All right, Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. All right, Jose Salvador Bernal. Okay, Josmana Tilio Serrán. Present. Okay, very good. Kevin Alexander Perez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Okay, very good. Rafael Alexander Cerna. Present. All right. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present teacher. All right. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present teacher. I will be listening. Sorry. All right, okay, no problem. Thank you for telling me. All right, very good. So let's continue. Um, you didn't mention me. <laughs> uh, Kevin, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, um, but I already checked. No worries, okay. I already checked. Thank it. you. You're welcome. All right, let's continue now, guys, that we already see some reasons or the ideas of why we can return a product. Let's continue with the vocabulary. Now, there are some characteristics that the products have when we want to return it. For example, if you want to return a cell phone, they will ask you, okay, but why? Why do you want to return the cell phone? Okay, we can describe what is happening to them. And here we have some vocabulary. So some of these words, we already know them. And the first one is, Faulty. Do you remember, guys, what the meaning is for faulty? Look at the definitions. Broken or spoiled. 
okay. I'm not working properly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, everyone? Not working properly. <laughs> okay, not working properly. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another idea? No, it's oh, not sorry, it's sorry. Letter E. Letter E. Not working yeah. properly. Do you agree, everybody? Faulty? Or do you have another idea? I'm, I agree. You agree? Okay. It's okay. Yeah? I agree. Okay. So imagine you go to the store and say, okay, I want to return this cell phone, please. Why? Ah, the cell phone is faulty. Okay. That means that the cell phone is not working properly okay then we have the number two damn it letter broken or a spoiled. letter a broken or spoiled do you agree everyone um, yes 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 good that's the one so imagine let me ask you i have a cell phone okay is it the same faulty and damaged? Is the same? No. no. Okay, what is the difference? Mm, one is more is more <laughs> uh, is damage more... is visible. Yes. Ah, very good. Remember the damage is something um physical, right? It's like in the exterior part. You open the box and you can see if the cell phone is broken or not. Immediately, you can identify the problem. But you can buy a cell phone. The cell phone can be perfectly, but when you try to use it, it's not working. All right? So that is the difference between faulty and damage. Is it clear the difference? Yes. Yes? Now. Cracked. What do you think? Um, showing thin lines on the surface, but not broken into pieces. Mm, what do you think, guys? Do you agree? I agree. Yes, actually, that's the one. Okay. Now, let me ask you is your cell phone cracked right now? No. <laughs> but uh -huh. it was. <laughs> My last one really was okay. <laughs> and you a, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Some accidents happens, right? <laughs> yeah, always. Uh huh. And the rest of you guys, is your cell phone already cracked? A yes. Little bit, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. So very good. I'm going to show you um, a picture. Uh, let's see if I have the picture here. Uh, oops. Okay, this is like a cracked cell phone. If you see that it's similar to yours, it's just a coincidence, okay? Uh, but I'm trying to do it bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this one. This is obviously a big crack, right? But it can be smaller, okay? So, is your cell phone cracked? Maybe not like this one, right? But this is an example. Is it clear, the meaning for cracked? Yes. Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Now, let's go back to the exercise. In this case, Hey, the line's erased. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we say that faulty, not working properly, damaged, broken, or spoiled, or cracked, spoiled. Oops. and cracked. Yes. Now, let's go for the next one. Scrap. Hmm. Mark it with something sharp, like your keys or coins. Yes. Right. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, yes. I agree. All right, is your cell phone scratched? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> With my keys. <laughs> Could be. And the rest of you guys? No. 
No, it's perfectly. <laughs> okay, I want to share with you a, a picture so we can see the difference, but um, I think that I'm going to search for care. Um, mm, or okay. maybe um, um, a stretched card. Yes, that could be another one. So look at this one. Um, I want to see uh, uh, something that is not so extreme, right? <laughs> it's clear, yeah, that, it's that, a little that, confused with an extreme. Mm -hmm. but... Look at this one. This is not broken. I mean, look, it's just like a like this. This is scratch. a scratch. All it's right. Just a scratch. <laughs> uh huh. So <laughs> that is the difference between cracked. Okay. Is it clear the difference? It's, it's more yes. superficial. Exactly. And it's not so bad. I mean, <laughs> so is your cell phone like this one, scratch, or like cracked? In scratch. Not no yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> That's good. So be careful. Be careful with your cell phone. All right. Then, and remember guys, I'm using the cell phone because it's like a very familiar product that I think everybody has one, but this can happen with all the products, okay? Um, as your classmate mentioned, imagine your car, you can have some scratches in your car. Then, no, that, no, <laughs> well, That's let's be more expensive to fix. I know, I know. <laughs> Then we have the next one, incomplete. Missing some parts. Missing some parts. Missing some parts. Very good. Then, uh, let me see. Then we have unsatisfactory. What is that? Um, not not good enough. Enough. No. So think about something that you have bought. Have you ever, guys, felt unsatisfactory or unsatisfied yes why with earphones because that they doesn't sound like i would expect <laughs> <laughs> okay and you guys have you ever felt unsatisfied with the product yes, yes. with the smart tv why uh because uh, supposedly is smart <laughs> but, the, but the but the system is not enough uh, smart <laughs> smart <laughs> well, well, that's not, not the smart to be a, a smart to be <laughs> exactly <laughs> so the, maybe the functions are not the functions that you expected uh no overall Okay, all right. Yes, uh, because uh, uh, the most of smart TV has um, a place that when you can buy some apps, uh -huh. but uh, that one just have one app, uh, just Netflix, and that's all. Oh uh, no, I I sold it. Just yeah. three months tell, later. Tell us the it. brand and the model to don't buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a, a smart TV Sony. Yeah, it's ah, okay. Not okay. That I can say. Thank so you guys, for the advice. <laughs> yes. Take yes. note. <laughs> All right. How about you guys? Have you ever bought an, an unsatisfactory product? Or remember, we can relate it with everything. It could be a product, it can be a service, or it can be food. So have you ever bought, guys, something, a product that it was totally unsatisfactory? Yes? Yeah. No? Uh-huh. What happened? Usually, um, especially with the, the offers. Sometimes they uh, offer a big sale or a big deal. <laughs> so when you receive, you are expecting the same picture or 
all the 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 items that they're uh, offering, but mm -hmm. maybe they they miss some beverages or sometimes the size is different or yes. sometimes they just say we don't have uh, this, these items are available <laughs> yeah <Okay>. sure <laughs> that's what they say right <laughs> that's true now again imagine guys this also happens with the service have you ever paid for a service and then you said, nah, this is not what I wanted, right? This is not what I expected. Yes, the internet, the internet. Yes, we are not going to say names, right? But <laughs> <laughs> exactly, when you hire a service, imagine that you hired the internet and the internet doesn't work. And you are in the middle of the class <laughs> and you cannot <laughs> listen, right? So totally unsatisfactory product very good so again copy the vocabulary if you see guys these ones are adjectives okay they are adjectives that we can use to describe what is happening with the product again imagine you want to return a product they will ask you okay what's the problem what is going on here um what happens is that the product is faulty Okay, ah uh, no, what happens is that look, there is a totally scratch. Or hey, look at this product, it's totally incomplete. You promised me this and this and this, and I don't have it. Or now this is an unsatisfactory product. I don't like it, it's not what I expected, and ta da 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 da. Okay, so they are additives. Copy, please. Copy the adjectives, <clears throat> write them down because we are going to use them. Uh, teacher, how yeah? do you pronounce uh, the scratch? Scratch or scratched? Oh, scratched. The scratched. Okay. Yes. Thank this you. the pronunciation is going to be guys with the same rule that we pronounce the regular verbs in past. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scratched. Is the same as the number three. We are going to say cracked. Right. Cracked. Cracked. Copy the adjectives, please. Remember, guys extra vocabulary. The idea is to memorize it. Um, teacher, the first one, the, the pronunciation, the pronunciation is faulty. Yes, that okay. is the one, faulty. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the difference between tall as a uh, crack, crack it, scratch, scratch. 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 Okay. Cracked, if you see guys, cracked is, let's consider like this, it's bigger than a scratch, okay? If you remember the pictures, this is a scratch. If you see, it's bigger, the the damage is bigger. Yeah, and this the scratch is, it is, look, it's just like this. Okay, the scratch is more deep. Damage. Not necessarily. This is just like imagine that you have a cat. <laughs> do you have deeper, cats? Everyone? Deeper will be. <laughs> so deeper. what what does the cat do? The cat scratch you. That is a scratch. Okay. Cracked is like we can say like broken, but the pieces still remains together. I don't know if it is clear. I'm trying to explain without translating because I don't want to use the Spanish to explain it. Okay. But yes, okay. remember, cracked is like broken, but the pieces still stay together. Scratch, it's what the cats do, right? With their nails. That is a scratch. That okay. is the difference. Indeed. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> <laughs> so for the ones who have cats, you can feel totally identified with it. Look at she. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What's the name? Just listen. It's an angry. And why? It's old. It's so big. Yes. <laughs> she she, um, she weighs uh, 40, 14 pounds. <laughs> oh my gosh. How old is she? It's <laughs> nine years. <laughs> wow, she's so big. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But it's so pretty. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right. So everyone, did you finish? Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. 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 Pretty good. Okay. The idea, guys, is try to keep in mind the vocabulary. Okay. So don't forget it. Now, let's see if you paid attention, but don't look at your notebooks. Okay. This is just with your mind. Can you tell me, guys? Three reasons to return a product. For the damage. Incorrect size. <laughs> okay, incorrect, okay. size. incorrect size. Mm, okay. Not working properly. Mm -hmm. Missing some, parts. Some parts. Okay. Wrong product. Wrong product. Very good. Okay, I can see that you remember it. <laughs> nice job. Okay. Questions with the vocabulary? No. No? No. Okay, pretty good. Let's continue then. Um, today we are going to see a lot of vocabulary and then we are going to use and apply the vocabulary. Okay, that's the idea. Now, we already studied vocabulary, okay, about the reasons to return a product. We already checked some vocabulary to explain or describe what is happening to the product, okay? So now, what happens, guys, if you want to return the product, but you want to see some different options, okay? When you go to the store, you can listen to some of these expressions exchange, guarantee, refund, replacement, and store credit. Hmm. So what do you think? What is this? We are going to complete the sentences using the correct word. For example, look at the first one says, yes, we can give you a ta 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 or we can give you coupons instead. So you have to think, uh, I think that is exchange. Okay, if you think that is exchange, okay, write it. If you think, no, I think that is refund, okay, let's write it. In order to complete this exercise, it's necessary to read all of the sentences. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes, everyone, to complete this exercise individually. And then we are going to see if your sentences are correct or not. Okay, you have five minutes. You can complete the sentences in your notebooks. And then we are going to verify your answers. Is it clear, the exercise? Yes, yes it is. Yes. Perfect. Okay, go ahead.
read carefully. Remember, the idea is to identify the keywords. Three more minutes, and then we are going to verify your answers. You ready, everyone, or not yet? I'm ready. ready. Not yet. Ready? Not yet? Okay, one more minute. One more minute. Ready? Yes. 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 Pretty good. Okay. If you read carefully, guys, you will find that there are some words that can be very similar. So we need to be very careful. In the number one, so what was the answer? What do you think? Refund. Refund. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Everybody, do you yes. agree or do you have another idea? Mm, I agree. Yes? I agree. Yes. Okay, yes. pretty good. Now, in the number two, I need a volunteer for reading, please. I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm really sorry, it's not working properly. Bring it back to the store and we can replace it. Okay, so she said a uh, replacement. No. You guys, do you agree? No. No, exchange. No. Exchange. Exchange. Hmm. Okay, that is interesting. What is the difference between replacement and exchange? Exchange is a um, verb, I think. Is what? Like a verb. Okay. An action. <laughs> ah, like exchange. a verb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And replacement. It's um, I don't. It's a noun. So how about guys? If I say replace, I you... think you replace a uh, a whole thing or some pieces. Mm, okay. Oh, I okay. believe that uh, in case of replace is for the same product, but mm. if is exchange, maybe can 
Uh, different product. Different product. I agree with Anna. Actually, that mm. is true. Replace as a verb, it's basically like the same product. Okay. I bought an iPhone 20. I will receive another iPhone, but it will be always the iPhone 20. Exchange, on the other hand, is not necessarily the same product. Could be something even better. Okay. Hey, you know what? I have this cell phone. It's not working. Uh, I don't like it or something. And they say, okay, I'm going to give you actually a better cell phone. Okay. So not necessarily has to be the same. In this case, actually, I need the verb. So the correct answer will be Change. exchange. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number three, volunteer for reading, please. Um, you can get a uh, store credit, but not your money back. Okay. I hope you'll find something else you like. Thank you. Store so, credit. He said store credit. Everybody, do you agree or do you have another idea? I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes, definitely. That is the one. Okay. Uh, number four, volunteer for reading. Me. Yes. The washing machine has two years warranty, so we can fix it free of charge. So what do you think, guys? He said yes, guarantee, I is agree. that true? Yes, I agree. I agree. Totally. So when you buy a product, guys, do you think that the guarantee it is important or not? Yes, but it's really yes. important. Yes. Yes. How longer it is usually a guarantee? One year or two. One or two years. Yes. Okay. And which products don't have guarantee? Mm, clothes many times. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? Can you think in another product that they don't have guarantee? Mm, sales. <laughs> products on sales. Oh, yeah, the offers. Actually, I didn't know that my <laughs> headsets, right, Um, they had one year of guarantee. I didn't have idea. I thought that it would be like one month, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but one year, and I was like, really? Wow. So for me, that's surprising. Now, number five, volunteer for reading. Only me. one, please. Go ahead. Me. I don't want to return it. I want a replacement. Okay, a replacement. I really like this bag, but the zipper is broken. For Very. the last part, I, I, I suppose that was a replacement. <laughs> That's correct. So if you see, guys, we have different options here. If your product is not working, what is the best option for you? Do you prefer an exchange? Do you prefer the refund, a replacement, or store credit? What is the best solution for you when the product is not working? Exchange. About exchange? The Maybe a combination. <laughs> a little of everything <laughs> replacement with the uh, refund mm, okay and you guys I no? think it's about the product or oh, the circumstances because maybe you are disappointed with the final product so you can make an exchange or get some store, store credit that's true. With, with well, maybe I think technology. <laughs> Correct. Uh -huh. Or maybe the attitude. For example, uh, if the, the product I love it, I prefer replacement. Mm -hmm. And also, guys, depending on the need that you have, imagine that you urgently need a cell phone. Uh, the refund is maybe not a good idea, right? Because what you need is the cell phone, not the money, right? So I think it, it's the pen of the circumstances. 
any circumstances are totally different. So very good. So is it clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes. 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 Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. 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 Exchange and replacement. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Now, don't look at your notebooks, okay? Can you tell me, guys, some of the adjectives that we can use to describe what is happening with the product? Um, Refound, exchange. Mm, no. no. Adjectives. Uh -huh. Adjectives. Scratched. Ah, cracked. 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 Faulty. Broken. Uh huh. Faulty. Faulty. Damaged. Okay, Damage. all right, don't forget it, don't forget it. Okay, now we are going to use the vocabulary. Okay, we already practiced some vocabulary, it's time to practice listening, listening okay? Listening so in this case, guys, I'm going to play an audio and in this audio, you are going to listen to a conversation about a woman who is trying to return an item in a clothing store, okay? So you have to pay attention to what she's saying and you have to answer the questions, okay? The first question is, what was the product that she wanted to return, okay? Try to listen and try to understand the reasons why she's trying to return the product, okay? Then you have to identify, did she want a replacement or does she want something else? Um, oops, it says did, I'm sorry, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> did she have a receipt or any other proof of purchase or not? Okay, you have to try to identify it. Uh, what was the result? So what happens in the end? Could she change or return the product or not? And how did the customer feel at the end? Was she happy, disappointed, unsatisfied? I don't know, okay? So pay attention to the listening part, please. Uh, to avoid interferences, as always, please keep the microphones off, everyone. If you cannot listen to the audio, let me know, okay? Pay attention, here we go. Hello, can I help you? Yes, you can. I'd like to return these shoes. I just bought them last week, but they're already falling apart. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's really a shame. They looked great when I tried them on. We have some similar styles. Would you like a replacement pair? No, I just want a refund. Okay, do you have the receipt or any other proof of purchase? Actually, I think I lost the receipt. Okay, a bank statement would be fine, but probably you don't have that with you, do you? No, I don't. So what happens now? Well, I can see they are definitely from our shop, so we can give you store credit for the same value. So that means I can buy something else later on? Exactly. That sounds good. Great. Just give me a minute to put this in the system. Sure, no problem. Okay, here you go. Great, thanks. You've been very helpful. Could you understand the audio, everyone? One more time, please. Yeah. I think I missed a part. <laughs> and it again. Yes. No worries. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Microphones off, please, everyone. Okay, here we go. Pay attention. Hello, can I help you? Yes, you can. I'd like to return these shoes. I just bought them last week, but they're already falling apart. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's really a shame. They looked great when I tried them on. We have some similar styles. Would you like a replacement pair? No, I just want a refund. Okay. Do you have the receipt or any other proof of purchase? Actually, I think I lost the receipt. Okay. A bank statement would be fine, but probably you don't have that with you, do you? No, I don't. So what happens now? Well, I can see they are definitely from our shop. So, we can give you store credit for the same value. So that means I can buy something else later on? Exactly. That sounds good. Great. Just give me a minute to put this in the system. Sure, no problem. 
Okay, here you go. Great, thanks. You've been very helpful. All right. Do you have the answers, everybody? Yes. Yes? I oh. guess. <laughs> I, guess. I believe. <laughs> oh my just God. One, but... Okay, then, do, do you need I... to listen it again? Okay, please, teacher. Please. <laughs> okay, just because you are you are good students, okay? <laughs> one more time, but that is the last one, guys. It's supposed that you just... Thank have... you, teacher. You're a good teacher. <laughs> Thanks. Extra points for you. <laughs> okay. Microphones, please. Microphones up. Pay attention. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, you can. I'd like to return these shoes. I just bought them last week, but they're already falling apart. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's really a shame. They looked great when I tried them on. We have some similar styles. Would you like a replacement pair? No, I just want a refund. Okay, do you have the receipt or any other proof of purchase? Actually, I think I lost the receipt. Okay, a bank statement would be fine, but probably you don't have that with you, do you? No, I don't. So, what happens now? Well, I can see they are definitely from our shop, so we can give you store credit for the same value. So that means I can buy something else later on? Exactly. That sounds good. Great, just give me a minute to put this in the system. Sure, no problem. Okay, here you go. Great, thanks. You've been very helpful. Okay. Right now, let me interview you. Let me pick someone. I will be asking randomly just to see if you paid attention and if you get the answers. Let me see. I will ask to Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo. Hi. Okay, Ricardo, number one, what was the product that she wanted to return? I did listen. It was shoes. Shoes. Okay, guys, what do you think? Is that correct? Yes, it was, it was, a, it was a, three, a pair of shoes. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so but why? Do you understand the reason why she wanted to return them? No. Yes, because it was no. falling apart falling apart do you know what the meaning is no anyone no. okay i will share no. a picture and let me ask you if something like this has happened to you i thought listen that listen the she's done sweet she what the she's done the she's done sweet fit or sweet sweet I... sweet like like uh fix ah no, like, fix. okay well actually i didn't listen to that <laughs> but okay. look no, it, no. it's all right but look falling apart i'm trying to search a picture falling apart is the typical case when the sole of the shoes <laughs> hungered <laughs> Paste it, right? It's no longer <laughs> sticked in, in the rest of the shoes. No, I don't understand the word. Where did she go? I'm sorry? Where did she go? <laughs> yeah, but guys, actually, sometimes this happened. Uh, have you ever had this problem when you buy a pair of shoes and they are recently, I mean, pretty new and they are still, I mean, they have already this issue? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we yes. buy when we buy uh, shoes uh, uh, in the company. It used to happen, and we had to exchange. Uh, it's typical, especially if you buy some shoes in offers, <laughs> right? Yes. That happens most, most of the time. <laughs> or like, or like women shoes, because the warehouse sometimes they have two warehouse or old. And yeah. get some humidity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the I other. A... Uh huh. Oh no! Uh, I I had ex I experienced <laughs> these new shoes. Oh uh, really? What happened? Yeah. Uh, the open. <laughs> and they were new. Yeah. 
Oh you, my you goodness, <laughs> imagine. And what do you do? Did you return it? Uh, um, it was um, exchange. Chain. Uh -huh. Chain. Okay, okay. Hey. So I, I don't know why, but that is a typical problem. Yes. And it works, uh, it gets worse when you have this accident, maybe middle of a day. <laughs> yes. And to be honest, I think that this is more common in women's shoes. How do you say, teacher, arrastrar? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. I walk, I walk the pool. <laughs> Okay, let me start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drug? um drug. Yes. Drug, I think. So you have to drug? draw. Draw the, oh, ah, the soul. Okay. Uh-huh. Look. Draw. Ah, okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can walk the drug, my food. <laughs> you have to draw it, yes. Drug it. Sense. All right, pretty good. Okay, let's return into the conversation. So uh, she was trying to return some shoes, right? A pair of shoes. And the reason is because the they shoes were apart. new, but they were already falling apart. Okay, the next one. Did she want a replacement? No. No, no she wants a replacement. Yes, right? So she said, no, nah, I just want it. Refund the money. <laughs> and what happened? Did she um did she have a receipt with her? No, she no, she no, no, she no, lost. So do you think guys that if you lost the receipt, you are going to have <laughs> the money? No, in this, in this country, in no. <laughs> no you, never opportunity. <laughs> yes, definitely. If you don't have it, I'm sorry, but Nothing I can do for you. <laughs> okay, so in this case, she didn't, right? She didn't have any receipt. She didn't have any other proof of purchase. So what happened? What was the result? She get a, a store credit. For store credit. Ah, I think that this didn't happen in El Salvador, right? <laughs> Because imagine they gave her Not really. credit. Yes, definitely it wasn't here. And at the end, mm -hmm. what happens to the customer? How did she feel? She felt really? great. She felt great, happy, satisfied. 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 She, she said that was very helpful. Yes. So imagine maybe she didn't have the money back, I mean, the cash, but she got a store credit that is basically the same i mean they gave her the money but she just had to use the money in the store that is the the store credit about right so at the end is it's not so bad idea right it's better than nothing of course so imagine guys if you were this customer how would you feel would you be satisfied with the answer that store credit yes yes definitely. yes Yes, yeah, especially because you don't have the receipt, right? Or any <laughs> other proof of purchase. So yes. be careful with those proof of purchase. Always <laughs> keep it. So guys. Um, teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. I uh, couldn't understand what, why is the reason for uh, she wants to return the product. Ah, there well, I see the picture. Uh, I, I hear you, uh, but I, I can got it. Can you uh, fall apart? Fall apart. That is the vocabulary. Okay. It's a, a frazzled I, bird or it, not? It is. And know. what happens, guys, is depending on the context, fall apart can means different things. In this case, what we can say is that the, um, the shoe's sole was falling oh, apart. apart. Soul, do you know what soul is? Talking about the shoes? Is the part yes, the under the shoes. Uh huh. Is the part that touch the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the shoes soul was falling apart. That's the reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're very welcome. Easy or difficult, the listening part? 
that part exactly, yes, but the other, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And the rest of you guys? Is it difficult? Falling apart. Okay. I never, I never heard about. So I, I, I learned some new. So new vocabulary, yeah. guys. Write it down. Write it down. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> How many correct answers did you have? Mm -hmm. Five. 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 Four. Four. Okay. Sounds good. So far, so good. So if you feel, guys, that listening is difficult, that's the ones that you have to practice more. Okay? So we already practiced listening. We already practiced some grammar, some vocabulary. It's time to practice speaking, of course. We cannot have an English class without speaking mm -hmm. practice. So this is what we are going to do right now, guys. We are going to have a role play. Okay? The role play is about trying to return an item, okay? We are going to work in teams with your classmates and you have to choose one of these pictures or you can invent another scenario, okay? This is totally free. One of you is going to be the student A. The student A is a person who Basically, guys, is trying to uh, return the product. So student A is the customer. For example, you can say, ah, hello, hey, my name is Clarissa. You know, I want to return this cell phone. Okay, why? Uh-huh, guys, why is the reason? Because it's cracked. Because this it's cell French. phone is cracked. Cracked or scratch? I think cracked. It's cracked. cracked. Yes. Mm, actually, it looks more like cracked. If you see, it looks like bigger, right? Mm. But you can explain it with your own words, okay? And that is, the idea, guys, is that you can use the vocabulary. So the student B is going to be the seller or the shop assistant. You are going to try to provide a good solution. My recommendation is try to follow the idea of the audio. For example, you can ask, okay, why? Why do you want to return the product? What's the problem? And then you can ask, okay, do you have the receipt? Yes or no? right? And then you can give the options. You know what, sir? I cannot give you the refund, but I can give you a store credit, okay? Or, you know, I can give you an exchange. I can give you a similar product or, I don't know, you can invent, okay? A solution. Is it clear, the role play? Yes. Yes? Okay, we are going to have a practice. Right now, I'm going to be the shop assistant and one of you is going to be the customer. Who wants to be the customer? Oh my God. <laughs> I want to be okay. the main customer. The three the ones. The three ones, okay. Yes, the, <laughs> the customer. So everybody pay attention, okay? Be mad, going... be, be mad. <laughs> <laughs> ah my gosh so what do you want a mad customer or a kindly customer you can decide this yeah is... you can be a Karen no can, 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 listen can. listen can everybody that's the idea you can be I remember that the role play is trying to simulate a real scenario so you can be a very nice customer or not the exactly the assistant the shop assistants can be pretty nice or it can be like, I'm sorry, I cannot help you, <laughs> right? So you decide, okay? The idea, work. the idea is to have a real scenario. Okay, let's start. Uh, hello, sir, how can I help you? Hello, uh, I purchased a product last week and it's not working properly for me. I really want an option to replace or get a refund. Sure, uh, what is the product? 
What's a cell phone? Mm, okay, and what is the problem with the cell phone? Uh, the cell phone doesn't charge properly. I connect it to the wall charger, but it's not working fine. It's like charge from zero to 50% mm. and then doesn't work. All right, I think that it has some imperfections. So the cell phone is faulty, right? Hello. Okay, Um. do you have the receipt, sir? Uh, yes, I have the receipt. Okay, can you give it to me, please? And can you give me your full name? Uh, sure. Here is the receipt. Um, my full name is Siegfried Ernesto Gomez. All right, thank you. Just let me check some details in files. Hmm, okay. I'm sorry, when did you buy it? I buy it the last week to be specific, uh, 15 of August. Okay, perfect. All right, so sorry, in this moment, according to the policies of our company, I cannot give you the refund, but I can give you an exchange. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. So I can see that this model of this cell phone is not the, the newest. So you know what, because of the inconvenience and because we appreciate to have business with you, I can give you the newest model instead of this one. What do you think? Oh, this sounds so freaking fine. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so let me go for the cell phone and I will give it to you. And you know what? Just because you look like a very kind customer, we are going to give you a gift card for $20 so you can buy whatever you want in this store. Okay? Okay, man. You are the best cashier in the world. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. That's it. So you see, guys, if you are kind, you can get more things, okay? My um, resolution is you and Sigfredo are paid actors. <laughs> yes. <that's> perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that we need, like, increased salary, right? <laughs> Pretty good. So that's the idea. Exactly like this role play is what you have to do. Understood? Mm, okay. Yes. And then remember, try. you can invent, okay? If you don't want to give the refund to the customer, don't do it. If you don't <laughs> want to give uh, an exchange, I mean, it's your idea. Remember that in this moment, you are simulating a real case. And yes, you can be the kind of customers, the kind of shop assistants that you prefer. Got it? But remember, then we are going to switch, okay? So Sifrido, imagine in this case that Sifrido is working with Carlos. Carlos is the customer. Sifrido is the shop assistant. But then they are going to switch. Got it? Yes? Got it. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let me open up the groups. Uh, give me a second. We are going to be working in groups but I can see some listeners. I'm sorry, give me a second. Let me create the groups. Okay, we are going to be working in groups, not in pairs, because sometimes when I set you in pairs, um, well, sometimes the other person doesn't connect. So I have alone people, okay? But if we are in groups, you can take turns, okay? And you can listen to your classmates and you can switch the role plays. All right, you ready, everybody? I'm going to send uh, the scenarios. And remember that the ideas, the pictures that I put there is just an idea. If you want, you can change the role play, okay? You can change the scenario, you can change the product, you can talk about food if you want. The idea is to do it as real as possible. Okay, everybody, let's go to work.
So, who wants to start? Okay, I think Sifrido did the, did the test. So, <laughs> he's out. <laughs> yes. He can write the script for all. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> no. But I have a lot of experience with this kind of customer and cashiers and I really know that sometimes it's better to be calmly with a cashier and they my team me offers more options or can be helpful to you. Just in case imagine you're a mad customer and today the cashier is mad because he has to to attend a lot of customers. Oh God this will be a disaster. <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay. I can be the the customer service. Anyone wants to start as a co uh, customer? Okay, me. Uh, okay. I I just thinking about it. Um, you can be customer service. Another one could be the supervisor. Another one cool. could be a... Uh... And she wants to scale me. Okay, you can, you may be the supervisor. Yeah. I think one could be the angry customer. And Another the other customer, one maybe. Maybe Pamela, Pamela gets the like gift to her. And she, and the other customer is, oh, God, please, someone shut up this man or something like that, or this man is crazy. <laughs> Or it's like, um, I'm waiting for Porsche something and you're yelling all the people. I don't know. It's one idea. So we go for the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so Wilbur and Pamela can be the customers. As you say, and I'm the customer service, and you will be my supervisor, right? Yeah, could it be. Okay. Okay. So, thank you for calling El Manguito Shop. How, how can I help you? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, I need some help because I bought one one um item and I have problems with that. An item, sorry. Could you repeat? Yes, I have. I bought a phone. Hello, can you can you hear me? Yes, yes. Sorry, ma'am. Um, what kind of issue do you have? Um, I I have a, a problem because when I um power on the cell phone, it doesn't work. The screen is all in black okay it doesn't work properly so um when do you get or when do you make your purchase it, it is in in the, in the guarantee time um i don't know because i ordered it about a month ago and i just uh, received it today so i don't know but it doesn't work okay sure we we can uh, find a solution for you uh just uh, can you please uh could you please give me the number of receipt um let me see i don't have the receipt okay if you don't have the receipt, uh, we can uh, take the guarantee. So uh, 
let me check with my supervisor what the the, the possibilities we have. So hi supervisor. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, hi supervisor. I have an issue with the customer. She has um a cell phone that it, it doesn't work properly, but she lost the receipt. But what do you recommend me? <laughs> and the customer and the customer waiting, right? I mean, no problem. What's supervisor Wilbur, right? No, but it it's you. okay. It's okay. You. So but... who who is going to be the supervisor? <laughs> so, 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 sorry, it's just me. I lost for a while. I, I um, I am busy with another case right now, so okay, the partner it, it, is calling me on the phone at the same time because there is Marcus I'm asking for a refund and to doing a mess in the store. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, um, there Mr. Supervisor 1. Let me check with Mr. Supervisor 2. Hi, Mr. Supervisor 2. <laughs> Did you hear that issue with the customer we have? <laughs> okay, what what happened with him? He uh, the customer is calling because he received um out of cell phones, but uh, it doesn't work proper. Uh, it doesn't work properly, so she lost the res the the receipt. Okay, uh, what do you offer her? Um, well, I I know that we can make any replacement or exchange if she lost the receipt. So maybe we can make an, uh, an special uh, no sé cómo se dice diferencia. An special I don't know like an uh, arrangement, an special arrangement for her. Okay, uh, does she have the receipt? No, she left it. Okay, you you may ask for a uh, for a credit credit. I remember the name credit. And a store credit. And a store credit. Uh -huh. You may ask for a store credit. And uh, you may help uh, to buy uh, the, the product that she wants, but the same price. Okay, cool. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor, too. And let me Good. continue with the customer. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your waiting, uh, Miss. Um, already we checked with our supervisor, and we can offer you an store credit because you lost your receipt but you can make any change or a new uh, purchase with his credit. Uh, the credit will be considered uh, by the same uh, value that you paid of your about your over your cell phone. That is great. That is okay for you. Mm. And say my your name, right? Yes, I didn't say my name. You didn't know. No, but I see you in, in the. In the, in, the, in the in the thing in my in my in, in my t-shirt uh, yeah. yes yes okay thank you so much Kevin thank you so much welcome back later no, it, I I don't know how they say when they they just say goodbye to the customers <laughs> okay, okay. No, it, it's good now we you need to choose uh, to change Carlos and Kevin now. Yes, Carlos will be uh, the uh, assistant. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what product? Uh, the kid is, I don't, de I didn't sell you the <laughs> to the store. Okay, yes. surprise. <laughs> I don't even, I, I don't not yet on the store. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, uh, uh, I want, I have a problem with um, my cell phone. My cell phone was faulty. Can you help me with that? Um, I 
I help you. Uh, my name is Carlos Hernandez. May I help you? Well, what is your problem? Uh, my cell phone was faulty. I tried to uh, charge charge it uh, yesterday, and it doesn't stop stop uh, charging. And I can uh, turn it on again from that time. So I want to replace this cell phone with another of the same um, model and brand, please. Okay, uh, I'm sorry uh, for the problem. And what do you prefer? The chains, the cell phone? Yes, I want an exchange. For, but but I prefer the same model. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh for the for the inconvenience, uh, we can uh, give you uh for other model newest. Oh, that sounds really good. That sounds <laughs> terrific. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay for me. Okay. Uh, uh, do you do you have the receipt? Yes, of course. It, okay. What is your name? <laughs> what is your full name? Uh, Kevin Alexander Perez. Okay. Ah, here in the system. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, um, uh, I wait for five minutes, please. <laughs> Okay, I will wait. Uh, here are the cell phone, New West. The... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me. Okay. Um, uh, is I, how do you say, is it's un gusto? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. To help you. It's a pleasure. Uh, attend, attend. Uh, help you. you can I, help you. I, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Are you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. <laughs> Only that? Well, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I customer. Uh, oh, it, I think it's, it's my time to be the you, customer. Oh, no, I, I you, was already you, the customer. You student, you uh, role A and B. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was the customer with you and ah, the and assistant the with Carlos. Uh, and you yes, I did the same. I were I were I were the customer support and I I was the customer too. Okay. <laughs> I think the three also. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Uh, and your supervisor Elvin also. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, you are a hard customer right now. But, <laughs> oh, but, but only, only I need my, my money return. <laughs> no, but you 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 also get good good position. <laughs> good 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 seller, good seller, both. Okay. Okay. Uh, Teacher, you were late. We were like really, really playing yes. a, a lot in a lot the the conversation. <laughs> I I had so many groups I had to listen to. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, tell her. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a very long uh, session. You know, we were talking. I was uh, the how do you say the provider the. I know, but well, okay. Osman was the the customer. I was the one. Uh, um, customer I was seller. The, come on, how seller? Sorry. Seller. Seller. I seller. was a seller, and he was he wanted a refund for his TV that was damaged. It doesn't turn on. But uh, we but I invented some politics that we <laughs> doesn't uh, give a. Uh, another item but will give store credit gift card something like that and also the tv that he bought it wasn't an offer so it doesn't apply for some <laughs> things 
uh, it was a kind of crazy thing we invented here. <laughs> I mean, it was good. And it what kind of customer was he? Was a nice yeah. customer or? Uh, no teacher, teacher, well, but, but in the but in the real life, I, I, I don't I don't be that. Yeah, in the, <laughs> only I I I was his. So invent. you were a difficult customer. <laughs> At the oh. start, he was a difficult customer. Yes, because actually. because I, I don't want a uh, return uh, <laughs> uh, exchange product. Just I need my money for come back. A it. difficult customer. Oh my gosh! Don't be no, like teacher, that. but but, right, I, but... I, told, I, <laughs> I told you in the real life, I am very flexible. flexible. All right, but did you switch the role plays, everyone? Did everybody? Oh, uh, was Richard, we will be a bad customer with me. Okay, <laughs> we will because we'll... you had to switch. I mean, now okay. that Osman was the customer, somebody else had to be the customer, and he is going to be uh, the shop assistant. Okay. Okay, teacher. Revenge. <laughs> okay, okay, Ricardo. Uh, slowly with me, please. <laughs> no mercy, no mercy. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, try. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, you work. Uh, right along, you work. Uh, work on. You work. Uh, uh, welcome to uh, our store. Uh, can I help you? Hi. Uh, yes, I came to a uh, refund this uh, cell phone because uh, when I opened it, the box, it was scratched and I want a new phone or my my money back, please. Uh, okay, uh, let me check the product. Can you give me, please? Yes, I have it here. Take it. Okay, okay, let me see. Um, uh, here is fine. Here is very good. Ah, uh, you, you, you can return uh, the product for this scratch it's a little, it's very, very small very small check yes. on the back please there is a big scratch there yes but the cell phone is very 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 nice it's newest in this store uh, are, are you sure you 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 do you want return Man, please check on the back of the cell phone. There is a big scratch there. Okay, uh, let me check in my inventory if I uh, find other item. Okay. Okay. Let's see number five, number two. This model is is isn't the same. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Richard, uh, yes. let me tell you, uh, in this moment, we, we don't have uh, the same model, but uh, this weekend, uh, we we get your cell phone, the same model, uh, you can come back in two, three days. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, what do you think? Okay, first, I can't come back here at the weekend. I need a new cell phone or my money back right now. Okay, uh, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to check uh, again uh, uh, if I if we uh, have uh, this model in other store. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait me, please, uh, two minutes. Okay, okay. Oh, Ricardo, that's so calorical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see. Okay. Oh, Richard, I have good notice for you. Uh, uh, yes, we had uh, the same the same model in in a store uh, near here. If you if you want if you can wait me uh, one hour. Your cell phone is here. One I'm hour. To, one one hour. I think one hour is spent very very fast. Uh, you, you can sit down here. Uh, we uh, we have 
we we you can drink coffee a uh, 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 soda a uh, 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 bread also do you like it sorry but i don't have your time i need it right now because i have to do another thing i have to go to work you know uh, this is the only time that i got to to do this and you say you, you told me that i had to wait one hour man please could you be a little faster uh, richard uh, for this is come for this incoming oh no incoming uh, <laughs> i i i i going to offer uh, a, a lunch if you spend uh, uh, if you wait if you wait uh, one hour uh, you can launch here uh, free for us support uh, of course uh, in if your cell phone i can give you in 30 minutes yes 30 minutes okay. 30 minutes no more no more also if you wait 30 minutes uh thinking thinking richard uh we are going to give you a lunch a drinking uh also i going to give you a a gift 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 card yes it is it's balance of gift card is a uh, 100 dollars what do you think it's not it's no bad offer for you in this okay. in this moment uh only two minutes missing only only two minutes yes okay i i, I get Richard, that Richard, uh, 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 wait me wait me uh, my co-worker is here with your cell phone yes here here you are your cell phone here you are can you see can you see it yes i see <laughs> No, teacher, we was about to get out the the, the break room. <laughs> we already practiced a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of customers were yeah. you? The angry one. The angry one? Why are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we have a... We... So patient uh, customers. Oh, yes. I'm not sure about it. I just remember <laughs> some role plays from the previous level, and I <laughs> Lorena, and I don't think you are a nice customer. I change. I change in the ah, uh, bet between four to five level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, easy or difficult the role play? What do you think? So, so. When, when the customer is uh, patiently in... Mm. Nice. Yes, it's Plenty. easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. 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 Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. All right. Interesting and good customers, angry customers. Guys, don't be like that. Don't be difficult customers, please. Let's <laughs> wait. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. All right, all right. How did you feel the role play? Was it easy or difficult? Was interesting, teacher. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. I had to offer a lunch, <laughs> a, a gift card. A... <laughs> and the customer Hello. didn't accept, right? Yeah, he, this, he, yes, the customer money. just wants a, money, a, money. money. <laughs> yeah, it's not oh. difficult. <laughs> By God, yes, I was listening to Osman. He was offering something to drink, something to <laughs> eat, some gift card, but the customer was difficult. My gosh. But <laughs> in the real life, you are not like that. Are you? No, no, teacher. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not sure, guys. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> it depends think... of the price of the product. <laughs> 
Okay. I see a lot of experience, teacher. <laughs> when I was listening to some of you, I just thought, my gosh, poor um, shop assistants, my goodness. But nice. Okay, the idea was to do it real, and I think that you perform it perfectly, like a real scenario, right? Now, let me ask you, did your classmate use the vocabulary, everyone? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Did your classmate speak uh, full English? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Ah, okay. And what happened in the end? Your, uh, did your customer feel satisfied with the solution that you provide? Yes, All the yes. Time. <laughs> I think yes. <laughs> well, if they are not, they, it's their problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, we have two minutes. We are going to have a role play here in the class. Let me pick some people. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm going to pick... Oscar, and I'm going to pick, uh, I, I see a lot of listeners, Michael, Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur, you are the shop assistant. Oscar, you are the customer. Action. Okay. I want to switch. I want to be the customer service. Mm, okay, <laughs> switch. Okay, Wilbur, you are the okay. customer. Action. Hello, okay. Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur. Uh, this is Oscar speaking. How can I help you with? Hola, Oscar. Uh, may you help me, please, with some product that I bought some two days ago? Yes, of course. What's the problem? The product? Well, I bought uh, two pair of shoes, one for woman and one and another one for, for men. And when okay. I read and when I read the the description at the platform, uh, they said one was a, a blue and the other one was purple. Okay. But they came at my house switched. So, oh yeah. Uh -huh. So I don't know. Uh, what do you recommend? Recommend me. Are you sure you bought it? You bought it. From us, from our company. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. So, um, the pro let's review. The problem is that you get um, a pair of shoes um, with the color inverted. You need one from one color and you get, uh, you get it wrong, right? Right, right. That's right. So, do you have the receipt from our product? Uh, I guess, but mm -hmm. I don't find it. Well, I need you to find it and <laughs> go for it. Okay, so may you come to my home and, and search that? <laughs> okay, I hope you will find it and go back, please. <laughs> okay. okay, let's stop there. Look at that. Okay. Oscar was straight, right? Like, okay, I cannot help you. Go and find the receipt. Oh, my goodness. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Pretty good job, everyone. Okay. I like it. Unfortunately, we don't have more time, okay? But you are doing a great job. And remember, the idea to uh, have these classes in English is that you can be able, right, to speak in a real scenario. Just imagine that you travel to the United States and you need to return an object that you bought? Do you think that you can do it in English? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. why not? You already did it here. Very good job. Now, before leaving, as always, we have a winner and the winner is Kevin Alexander. Yeah. I you was are the about winner. to ask him which one. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you have to stay. The rest of you are totally free to go. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you. Take care. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye bye. Take care. All right. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Uh, they are listeners, so I think that that's why they are still here. No worries. 
How are you? <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, the purpose for this little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have about the classes or about the platform or any comments that you want to express. And of course, the moment to give feedbacks to you. So let's start with the questions. Any mm. questions or doubts that you may have? By the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> how was the role play? How did you feel the role play? Um, a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> is, I I think it was a little bit hard because I have to to be on the role of, of the <laughs> customer or the um the assistant. So and, what, and we what, have to switch. <laughs> what kind of customer were you? Uh, 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 nice one. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of customers did you have? Uh, ni only nice ones. <laughs> uh, everybody was nice. Okay, yeah, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> All right, Sounds like a, a, a really good, uh, a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds With only good. good customers. Excellent. Well, that's good. Unfortunately, in the real life, not always. Everybody will be so no. nice. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, talking about the class, uh, how do you feel right now with the group, with the topics? Uh, what do you think? How do you feel about it? I feel comfortable with with all of them i feel um uh zero percent shy <laughs> here <laughs> sounds good that's excellent and which area do you consider is the most difficult for you grammar um, speaking listening writing i think is um speaking <laughs> listening <laughs> i think i'm very good at, at it <laughs> mm, sounds good yeah but you speak a lot so I mean, yes, but um, I sometimes don't remember like the verbs or, or uh, vocabulary or specifically. The, yes, vocabulary. That's that's what I was. I forget because uh, the last time I learned, I was learning English was like um, four or five years ago. So uh, the the things that I remember is just because I hear it on the series that I, <laughs> that I watch so <laughs> that's and my current vocabulary <laughs> were you studying english this month ago or you are just starting right now this is my first um level or course in here. in ah really okay yes. <laughs> all yes. right okay sounds good sounds good well i i have positive feedbacks for you let's just start with the participation you participate a lot so that's great when we go to the breakup rooms I can see that you always participate and that's excellent so according to participation I have a very positive feedback now let's talk about uh, the platform right now uh, let me share with you um, let's see Kevin Kevin yes there you are Kevin Alexander, in the unit number one, I can see that you have 100%, perfect score. And I can see that you are already working in the unit number two. I just need a little bit more progress in the unit number okay. two. Yes, um, some of your classmates already finished the unit number two. And remember that we are um, basically in the unit number two, we have the midterm, that is the exam. Okay, so that's why I needed to try to work more in the unit number two that is the only observation but so far so good uh, you have been working a lot that's great okay, okay thank you very good i don't know if you have any other question or comments so far mm -hmm. so far no <laughs> excellent pretty good okay kevin we are going to stop right here i know that you might be tired thank you so much for staying keep going okay and see you tomorrow goodbye see ya take care